Hello friends, welcome to a new video, where I will be teaching you how to create a 3D lenticular image using the Grape 4.3 program, Photoshop, and we will use Facebook to upload our sample of the 3D image and take screenshots, so let's start with the video. First of all, we will open in Photoshop any image that we want to convert into 3D. Now we create a new file in which we will pass the image to see what size the image is, and we are adjusting it. And I also create a line below just as a guide to see how many images I want to capture that in this case I divided it into 10 and see more than what position I would put the pointer in and take the capture later. This division is only a sample for you to see how many captures we want to take from the image. They can be 3, 4, 5 or more depending on how fluid we want for the image. Having already measured, we cut out the document to the size of the image, if we want we can remove the space below that we place on it since it doesn't help us much, it's just a sample to see how to divide the image. Then with the pen tool we will create a stroke on the face that is what will be in the foreground, and we will be coloring gray and white tones to determine the depth we want to give to these areas that we draw, where the black color is deeper and the soft color will interpret it as a close object. One of the ways is to use gradient from gray to white tones only that we will not have good results since they are used more for flat objects. The other is to color with the areas that we see that are closer and the deeper areas we give it a darker color. We make another stroke for the body, and then color it depending on the depth we want to give it. In order not to be entering and selecting the colors we can create a sample of light colors up to a black color, and with the brush tool, and pressing the Alt key, 
and clicking on the color we take the color sample to paint. We make rectangles with gradient for the backgrounds to give depth to the image. When we are ready, we are going to save these two images, the first is only the main image, and the second will be what we color with grey colors, and we will only add it to this depth. Now we will go to Facebook and create a post by uploading these two images. Facebook will automatically convert it into a 3D image. I programmed it later so that it doesn't go up and only I can see it, and make the captures. I will be leaving this image to you in the group I have created on Facebook, so that you can do your tests. Now we will be capturing with the print screen key here is where we can divide by the number of captures we want. We can use a ruler on our screen, 
and measure the size and divide it by the quantity and take capture every certain centimeters, just so that they take into account that a 3D image the more compact images the more fluid the movement will be. That's how we capture our 10 images. They should only go to make sure that they do the capture well, and the movement is made since I had an error in a capture, and instead of 10 captures it was 9 but for this video it does not affect. Now with the selection tool, we are going to mark only the image, and then we go to the selection window, and we give invert, and we are selecting each layer, and we give the delete key to remove the background, and that only the image remains. Then we enlarge the image, and put the measure we want to print. We just have to remember the measure since it will help us to use the GRAPE 4.3 program to intertwine and create the 3D lenticular image. This is where I realized that one of the images was not captured well, and I had to delete it, and I was left with 9 movements. Now we will start saving each image one by one and place a sequence of one, two, three until we reach the last one, we save it in a new folder that you can call a sequence. Now we open the grape program and open one of the text files that are there and modify the following values. In the first and second option must go the resolution of our printer. In my case it is 1440, so I can put it in half 720. In the third option should go the calibration number that we have searched for in the previous video of this series of audios in English. In my case it is 69.67. In the 4th and 5th we will put the measurement of our image that we can't see in the Photoshop program, and the rest we leave it as it is, and give the submit key. We will get a window if we want to save that text file to have the data we enter for future projects where we will only change the measurements and images we want. 
Now we select the folder where we save the sequence of images. We select where and with what name we want to save the 3D image. Now let's go to Photoshop and open the file we saved. Then we will go to print and select the printer, and in configurations we give on glossy photo paper, and in high quality. We remove the high speed option, and we give OK, and change the printing position to horizontal, and we give to print. Now it only remains to adjust, with these frames we must only try to align each line, at the central points as we see here. And this is the effect we have achieved, if you like this video I invite you to comment, and subscribe to continue uploading more content in English. See you in the following video, goodbye.